Okay, so we're looking at 6a. Um, 6a is d plus d plus d plus d plus d. So that's going to be um, 5 lots of d. So 5d is the answer there. 6, we've got 3 times m times 2. So we times the numbers together to give us 6. And then we've got a letter at the end. So that's m. C uh, requires a bit of work. I'm going to write the question out first of all. And then what we're looking for is, is term types. So what we've got here is we've got a type of K. So I'm going to use a circle for that and include the K parts in the circle. Now, also crucially important, you, you involve the sign in front of the K terms. I'm going to use a different colour again then for the J. So I'm going to use a square this time, uh, because if you don't have different colours, like in the exam you won't have, then use different shapes. So now what we've got then is we put the Ks together. So I've got 6K take away 2K, which is 4K. And then we've got 3J add 5J which is a positive, so it's a plus in the middle, 8j. Question 7 then, um, we've got this graph produced, sorry, coordinate graph. So it's asking first of all for the uh, coordinates of point A. So for 7a, the coordinates of point A then are 4, 4 across and 2 up. So it's 4, 2. B coordinates of B, which is 2 across this way, so it's minus 2, and then up 1, so it's still 1 positive, so it'd be minus 2, and then 1. And then on the grid, mark the point 0, minus 4, and mark with a cross and label it C. So 0 first means we don't go across at all, minus 4 means we go down, 4 spaces, mark with a cross, and put a C. Question 8 now, um, we have a triangle. It says, first of all, um, we want to be measuring um, the length of this triangle. So I'm going to bring a ruler and go through there. So the ruler will bring up to the line, make sure the note starts at the beginning, and it will be exactly 7 centimetres. So for 8A, it's 7 centimetres. Um, write down a special name uh, for the angle marked X. Well, it's acute and tiny. It's less than 90. So it's an acute angle. Obtuse is between 90 and 180 and reflex is above 180 and less than 360. Then we're asked to measure um, the angle. So I'll just remove the ruler. And then if we bring the tractor in, making sure your cross is exactly at the point here, and we'll read, and it's in between 30 and 40, so in between 30 and 40, it's exactly halfway between that, so it'll be 35 degrees, so part C is 35 degrees. Part D, part 1, we have this drawing here, so D part 1, um, work out the size and of the angle marks Y. So we've got Y here. So it's 360 degrees in a full turn. So what we're going to end up doing there is doing 360. We're going to take away 130 degrees. And we're also going to take away 90 degrees. So not, 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 just give us a note. 6 take 3 take 9. And what we first of all really need to do is, is combine these two together. So if we add these two together, that will give us 220. And then you can do in your head basically 220 take off from there. So that's then 140 degrees. And then the reason um, for the second part is to give a reason for your answer. The one that you want is angles around a point equal 360 degrees. Into question 9. 
Got this information here about adults and children and families, two adults and two children. So our question um, is asking us, he buys two adults and three children, he pays the least possible amount of money, what is the total cost of the tickets? So what we're first looking at is it would be cheaper to buy a family ticket for two adults and two children than it would be to buy individually um, because of the offer then. Otherwise, there'd be no point in offering the family ticket. So we've got a family ticket here, which is going to be equal £22. Now, this also then is two adults and two children paid for. Um, then what we've got to do is we've got another child on top, so we're now adding an extra £4.50 on top to this, which will then give us a total zero zero adding together that gives us five that gives us six and a two so we've then got 26 pounds and 50 pence mr harris pays with a 20 pound note or with two 20 pound notes sorry how much change should he get so two times 20 pounds it's going to give you 40 pounds and then we're going to take off 26 pounds and 50 pence now note take note gives you not note take five you can't do so we're going to borrow one from the 40 so 10 take five is five nine take six is three and three take two is one so the answer then is 13 pounds and 50 pence Question 10 is equations. So um, what we've got here, just have to um, add a page in. Sorry about that. Just remove that. So we can insert a blank page. And this is now question 10. So I've got that 4x equals 20. So if we divide both sides by 4, because 4 lots of something give us 20, x then is equal to 5. B, we've got y take away 8 equals um, 13. So if we add 8 to both sides, the op opposite operation, that will then give us y is equal to 21. And C, 3m plus 7 equals 36 sorry, 34 first step is to take the 7 it's the opposite of adding so take 7 from both sides that will then give you 3m equals 27 and then divide by 3 that will then give you m equals 9 now another way I teach it is to say well if you start with x we're going to times it by 4 and that gives your answer of 20 so working back, the opposite of times in is divide. So watch again, what's the first thing we do to y? We take 8 away, and that gives us our answer of 13. So working back, instead of taking, we're going to add. So 13 add 8 will then give us y equals 21. Same up here, sorry, x equals 5. And finally then, what's the first thing we do to m? Well, we do 3m, so we times it by 3. Then we add 7 and that then gives us 34 so working back we take 7 away and then we divide by 3 that also gives us m so m equals 34 take away 7 and divide it all by 3 well 34 takes 7 is 27 and 27 divided by 3 gives you 9 